Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today I wanted to show you how to use my Ether wallet to create an Ethereum wallet that is compatible with ERC20 tokens and can be used to contribute to um, Ethereum-based ICOs. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to create a dummy wallet today so that I can show you guys how to do this. Um, I'm not going to fund this wallet and it'll just be something fake that I create for this purpose so that I can show you the private key stuff. Okay, so if you first thing you do is you go to myetherwallet.com. Move that a little bit so I can show you. It is of the utmost importance that when you go to https colon backslash backslash my www.myetherwallet.com. You want to make sure that when you get there, you see this My Ether Wallet LLC US with the little uh, padlock to show you that you are in the correct location. There are a lot of scams out there. So be safe. Okay. Um, now that you've checked and made sure that you're in the right place, you can go ahead and create a new wallet if you don't have one. And you're going to create a password for the wallet. It must be at least nine characters and make sure that it is a, um, a strong password. Okay, so I made up a password for this. I'm going to create a new wallet and I am going to download my JSON file and save it. Now this is really, really important. This is your key store file. So this is like your backup that you can import if you want to, when you want to open this wallet up again using my ether wallet. So I'm gonna download the key store and then say that I saved it someplace safe. So this is, oh, you actually can't really use this with anything, but I am gonna download it and then say, yes, I saved it someplace super safe, super safe. So give me a second. Okay, so once you save your key store, someplace very safe, like a thumb drive that you then keep in a safe somewhere, um, then you are going to say, I understand, and I continue. So this is, here's their warning. Do not lose this. It cannot be recovered if you lose it. Do not share it. Your funds will be stolen if you use this file on a malicious or phishing site. Make a backup. Secure it like the millions of dollars it may one day be worth. I understand. I'm going to continue. So this is the private key that they give you while you are creating this wallet. So um, the best thing to do here is to print the paper wallet. So you press print paper wallet and it's going to bring this up. And then you can print this out. So it's going to have your public address, your, pu your, pu so your public key and also your private key written here, and plus a QR code of your public address and a QR code with your private key there. You can save this, you can print it out, put it in your safe. This is a paper wallet. This is cold storage. So if you want to keep your ether offline, all you need is to print this out. And again, this is for any, you know, this is for your wallet that, that will hold any of your ERC-20 tokens too. So it's not just Ether, but anything that you're keeping in your Ethereum wallet will be accessible with this private public key pairing. So let's go ahead and print that. Give me a second. Okay, so now I have saved my JSON and I've saved my private key. I printed off a paper wallet for setting up this wallet. And now I'm going to say, save my address. So now that I have created this, I can go ahead and use the private key that I just created to open this up. 
So let's come here. I'm going to get the private key from this paper wallet that I just printed off. Okay, so I'm actually having a little bit of trouble with the um, paper wallet that I printed off, not being able to just copy and paste out of it, and I don't want to write out the private key. So I'm going to actually choose the key store, which I also saved, and select a wallet file. So key store, which is the UTC JSON file, will bring up this select a wallet file. When you click that, it'll open that. I'm going to open here. My wallet is encrypted. Good. Please enter the password. Okay, so my wallet was successfully decrypted. Now I'm going to unlock it. Oh, and there it is. So I don't have any ETH because, of course, I just created this. So um, I'm going to try printing this paper wallet again. And um, I'm going to show this key, the private key. I'm going to print this paper wallet. And I'm going to hope that this actually prints better this time. So let's replace that. And then I'll try to see here. It's the same weird selection thing. So on my actual one, when I printed this paper wallet, it gives me, you know, where I can just select my private key and use the paper wallet to unlock my wallet whenever I go to use it on my Ether wallet. So that is something that you can do here with the private key, um, with the paper wallet and your private key that's written there. Or like I just showed you, you can use the JSON file and um, save that there. But in any case, now that we have this here, so um, this is my the, the wallet here. And what I'm going to do is first, you have to make sure that you have some ETH. So if you, they do have a link here where you can um, get your ETH from Coinbase. I also have a link to get some ETH from Coinbase in the description box for this video. If you use my link, then you will get $10 back when you purchase your ETH. Um, if you purchase $100, I'm actually not positive about that though. I know that it, the promotion works for Bitcoin. I think it works for a $100 purchase with any cryptocurrency, but in any case, um, you, there, there is a, um, a, a, a rebate with Coinbase. Okay, so here um, we can load token balances and show tokens, but this is an ERC-20 uh, compatible wallet. So now I can come up here and choose send ether. And again, it's going to say, how do you want to access this? I'm going to choose my JSON file. There it is. Then my password. and choose unlock. Now this is going to take me to the send ether and tokens portion of the wallet. And you just, you'll get the address, the receive address that you need to put in here from whatever you are trying to send your ETH to. You're gonna put the receive address where you want it to go there, how much ETH you want to send here. And then you're going to set your gas limit, which is generally, they tell you um, what to set the gas limit to in whatever the, um, the contribution that you're trying to make. If it's for an ICO, they'll generally tell you the, uh, the address that you need to send it to and what, what you need to send your, set your gas limit to um, right there in, in the instructions for the sale. So that's it. So you're just going to enter in the address, the amount of ETH, your gas limit, and choose generate transaction. Once you do that, you will have to interact with the tokens that you are purchasing. So if you come over here um, to load token balances, I don't have any here. Um, so let me go ahead and show you that you can add a custom token it will bring up this um, contract address. So 
Uh, you can get the contract address generally from the contribution page, or if you cannot find it there, then you can get it from either um, etherscan.io or um, from ethplorer. They both um, let you search for contract addresses there. So you'll get your contract address, put it here, put in your token symbol and how many decimals, then choose save. At that point, um, your token should show up here in token balances. If they don't, then give it a refresh and see if they show up then. So that is how you create an Ethereum wallet using myetherwallet.com. Um, do make sure that you save your JSON file someplace very, very safe and never give your private key to anybody and do know that the one I just made in this video is not something that I will ever use because I have shared the private key with you so it is no longer secure. Um, so I'm going to, you know, disregard this information, but um, this is how it works. It, my Ether wallet is very easy to use and um, I do really like it very much. I generally do try to keep the Ethereum Miss wallet for my, for my own use, but it is, um, it's very tedious to keep to keep um, everything updated with the network and you do have to download every transaction in order to use the full node wallet. So this is a much simpler way to interact with ERC20 tokens. All right, well, that's it. So um, thank you very much for your time today, everyone. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, then please, by all means, do hit the like button for me. And if you see want to see more from me, please do subscribe. You can hit the bell next to the subscription but button to get notifications of when I post new content. And as always, I thank you very much for your time and I'll see you next time.